Hello there, good morning. Scotland's Prosecution Service is failing victims when preparing and prosecuting domestic abuse cases. That's according to the Chief Inspector of Prosecutions who says most domestic abuse victims had a poor experience of the justice process, often feeling confused, frustrated and exhausted. Laura Payton wants better communication with survivors and a more victim-centred approach. Victims want to be updated regularly about their cases. They want to be told the right information at the right time and they want to be dealt with empathetically. And that's um, something that the Crown Office and Portrait of Fiscal Service is trying to do, but there's definitely a lot of scope for improvement. Well, the Crown Office said it accepts the report's recommendations and is working to make changes. Elsewhere this morning, MSPs are expected to vote in favour of increasing the minimum unit price for alcohol from 50 to 65 pence. The change is due to be rubber stamped at Holyrood later. Ministers say the price rise is necessary and that minimum unit pricing has saved lives and reduced hospital admissions. The Scottish Conservatives say the price rise will punish responsible drinkers. The new 65 pence rate would come into effect in September. It shouldn't be seen as the solution in its own right. It has to be uh, seen with other measures, particularly targeting people with uh, very severe alcohol use disorder, people who are very dependent upon alcohol. And I think it's very important that services are uh, developed and sustained to uh, address those individuals who are particularly vulnerable to harm. Conservatives are calling for the Hate Crime Act to be scrapped and are using their debating time at Holyrood to table a vote on whether the legislation should be repealed. Their Justice Spokesman Russell Finlay says it's unworkable and is taking a huge toll on Scotland's police. Ministers acknowledge communication around the law could have been better but say the bill is needed. And finally, a new film studio complex in Stirling could be ready for lights, and camera and action in just two years. The site at Fourth Side has already been used for filming and some existing buildings will be reused. The £214 million cost will be met by a partnership of Stirling and Clyde Manager Councils, the University of Stirling and both UK and Scottish governments. OK, let's see how the weather's looking now with Kirsty. Good morning. It's a chilly start today. The wind's coming from a northerly direction. We also have this weather front trying to push in from the west. That'll bring in a bit more cloud and some patchy rain, but most other places looking largely dry. We have got a scattering of blustery showers still out towards the northeast. Some wintry over the hills, but these easing through the day. In the spring, sunshine should feel fairly pleasant. It is on the chilly side, though. Temperatures peaking at around, say, 9 to 12 Celsius. Now initially tonight we've got long clear spells and it'll be a rather chilly one, even close to freezing across parts of the east, but generally temperatures dropping down to around 2 to 5 Celsius. Out to the northwest you'll notice the cloud thickening overnight, bringing in some spots of rain and through the day tomorrow it's a very different day, turning wetter and windier from the northwest, that rain sweeping its way southeastwards, followed by some showers. And that's all from us for the moment, but I'll have another quick update for you just before eight o'clock. Hope to see you then. Bye-bye. Just after half past seven, Wednesday morning, welcome to breakfast with Sally Nugent and John Kay. Now, the mum of Manchester Arena attack victim, Martin Head, is going to walk to the place, was going to walk from the place where he died 